What a great day to be a Mexicano. OMG, if you are living out there, good luck, have fun. Mexico elects its first female president, Claudia Scheinbaum. <laughs> Shiny bomb. <laughs> Claudia shines her bomb. Was elected the country's first female president after a bloody election campaign. That's all. Let me just repeat that. After a bloody election campaign that saw 37 candidates assassinated. Now, this is real, by the way. This is not some Game of Thrones article that I'm reading about in the new series. No, 37 possible king or queens of Mexico were assassinated. 37. Now, just to confirm, this is from every level of politics. So it's not just 37 people ran for president and then they were all, you know, lined up in a line and... You know, Lord have mercy. So, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Uh, to be honest, she's 61 years old. She's Jewish, which people love talking about for some reason. Everyone thinks it's some grand conspiracy about the Jews are taking over the world. But we'll find out in a couple of years if that's true. Fair enough, if they are, good luck, have fun. I mean, you'd think they maybe wouldn't try to do anything like this. But she was a former energy scientist, has promised continuity. Saying that she would continue to build and advance. Further building a welfare programs that have made outgoing presidents very popular. For the first time in 200 years. Is I will become the first woman president of Mexico. See, it's good though to have women uh, in power to see if there are any just as bad or even worse as the males. Fucking ads, mate. I honestly, I'm just, I've had enough of life recently, guys. I can't lie to you, I'm absolutely fucking had enough. Life is just bollocks, it's bullshit, it's dog shit. And then they have the audacity to play adverts in, in videos that are 30 seconds long. Now let's see what this fucking wench has to say. Whoa. Let's see what this lady... This female genitalia woman, possibly, let's not presume, has to say about this historic victory. Now, I speak fluent, so I'll translate. For the first time in 200 years, women have made presidency of the republic. I'm, I, I learned this, so I'm reading it. I'm not reading the subtitles. I don't need to. It's all in my head. Thank you to the people of Mexico. That specific accent. This is your triumph. On this June 2nd, we made history again. Um, hold on, sorry, I don't know that word. Oh, that was the word. <laughs> so basically, she's very happy. Um, it's kind of mental, though, that, you know, it's a big deal that women are becoming, you know, president, prime minister, uh, leaders for the first time, isn't it? Like, last time I checked, it was 2024. Who gives a fuck? If you're not, man, you know, England did it in the fucking 80s, mate. If you've not managed to do it yet, then that's on you. You know what I mean? You guys are behind times. Time to catch up. You guys are slow as a turtle, baby. But yeah, I just find it funny. How, how can 37 politicians be killed? What sort of country allows 37 politicians to be killed? Ugh, 37. 37 people. Governor Ellis condemned cowardly act and that to the full weight of the law against the person or persons responsible. Well, clearly that's dog shit because, you know, if you allow people to die 37 times, that's just terrible. I mean, that's the deadliest in modern history. I would hope so. Imagine if this wasn't like the most craziest election and they go, yeah, well, we've actually had 45 killed before. Who fucking runs for president? Who would wait, want to waste their life running for president when you know the chance of you getting shot in the face by some Mexican cartels? A a pretty fucking high, dude. Pretty fucking high. But yeah, look, I'm not a conspiracy nut. I just think it's kind of crazy how 37 candidates have been assassinated and yet you want to still run, bro. If half a person got shot, I'd be like, nah, dude, You, I don't care that much about being president. You keep you keep your White House, bro. I don't need that shit. I'll just keep smoking my crack like Hunter Biden in my dad's basement while I watch fucking anime porn and shit like that. That sounds much more exciting to me. All jokes aside, though, um, I hope... This woman's as bad as everyone else just so we can finally learn that this one person in control doesn't actually work and that, you know, presidents and single sort of two-party cultures don't work and it's a disgrace and it's a joke. Yeah, well, good luck to you. I hope you don't get assassinated. I think it's probably what everyone would be thinking right now. Is that correct? Are you thinking that? Or is that just me? Look here. Larry Fink didn't take any pictures with the other 37 candidates now, did he? Ask yourself why. I don't know who Gary Fink is. I know who Gary Fink is. Who's Gary Fink? Gary Fink. Did I read that wrong? Larry Fink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you donkey. Who is he? He's the CEO of BlackRock. Oh, it's investment technology. Okay, so it's something dodgy. Net worth 1.2 billion. I mean, he looks very much like a... Um, what would you call it? Someone you wouldn't want to leave around your children for too long. Let's put it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, he's Trump's best friend. Actually, I like him. I really like him. Go Trump, go Trump. Trump, 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 Trump. Larry Fink, Larry Fink. Larry Fink, Larry Fink. Yeah, well, good luck. Have fun, guys. Don't run for president.